Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski, the art director for Scrapbook and Cards Today, and also the author of the Design Your Story column that is appearing in 2017 in our beautiful magazine. Today, I wanted to share with you a quick formatting tip on how to create hanging indents. Hanging indents make any list of items just look more polished. And considering my column this month is all about making a list, I thought I would show you how to do this. Now, if you're working in Photoshop for a lot of your digital stuff, unfortunately, Photoshop does not have a quick and easy way to do hanging indents. I wish that it did, but so far, it leaves that function to programs like InDesign and Adobe Illustrator. But I have a quick workaround for anybody who thinks, but I don't have those programs, but I have word processors. And the one I'm gonna to use today is a very common program, which is Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna show you how to take a journaling list and format it beautifully with hanging indents. You ready? Let's begin. I'm starting out with a list that I've already typed up. One thing I want to point out is that when you make your list, whether you use numbers or letters, you type it one period or a period, and then you want to make sure, I'm gonna delete this here, that you put a tab between the number and the item on your list. And actually I think I got too much space in there. There we go. The tab is important because it will help this all to flow properly once you begin formatting. The next thing I'm gonna do is change the document margins. Now, I know that in this layout that I'm creating, I want my photos to take up the left-hand side and I want my journaling to move over. And because I'm printing my journaling directly onto my background cardstock, I need to move it. So I'm gonna go up to the format menu and I'm gonna to go to document. And here, I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna change the bottom to zero because it will help this not to bump to the next page. I'm gonna change my left margin to 3.25, and my right margin, I think I'm gonna put it at one inch for now. And you can always change these, you know, you can do a test print and see how everything works. Pretty easy to play around and get it right, but I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna ignore what it says, because that is where I want it to be. So now I've got my journaling shifted over where I want it to be. And now I'm going to highlight all of it. Now you can, you know, you can click and drag or you can click in anywhere and just go command or control, whether you're a Mac or PC and hit A. So all is selected and then you just need to come up here and click until you hover, it's tricky, and see hanging indent. Now I've got little tip tools showing so they'll come up and I'm gonna drag and release and if I click away, you can see a beautiful hanging indent. Now, if you look down here and you're like, ah, wait, that one didn't work, click in front of it, hit a tab over, click in front, hit a tab over. And up here, I'm actually going to highlight the top line and I'm going to move that back because I don't need my first line indented. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is highlight all my text and I'm gonna go up to Format and paragraph. The reason why is I wanna change the spacing of my document, but I also wanna add a little space before and after each paragraph item. I think it gives a nice visual rest for the eye and lets each thing stand on its own. So if you come in here to spacing and you go, well, start out small, do three points, and I'm gonna put my line spacing uh, Maybe I'm gonna try this one and a half lines. I may come back and do a custom letting, but I'm gonna click okay to show you how it will space out. Ah, see that? Now we have a nice amount of letting space and we have a nice amount of space between each item. It's subtle, but notice how it just adds some air to this whole thing rather than being a very dense, you know, hard to read journal block. And then what you can do too, is you can adjust this any way you like. I, I'm going to actually move it down a little. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is highlight that, go format, I'm gonna go back to paragraph, and I'm going to add, let's go nine points. And I'm gonna see what happens here. 
There we go. I just wanted it to come down a little more. So if you if you want your starting place to go down, you can come to your very first line, etc. And of course, if you've got too much down here, you can always edit or write to fit. But that's my quick tip for setting a hanging indent using Microsoft Word to create a really polished, easy to read journal list on your next page. Hope you enjoy this and hope you have fun making lists.